Hi, this is Born in 62, I'm Henry Hughes. Today we are going to look at the one-arm kettlebell swing. The one-arm kettlebell swing is a bit different from the regular two-arm version, just known as the kettlebell swing that we have seen before. And um, it's a bit more technical and a bit more risky, so you will have to pay attention and as always be sure to be warmed up before you try this and also start out with a light kettlebell so it's not straining you in any way uh, you are paying attention to, to the technique to do it correctly so let's look at the, the action here just like when we are doing a, a regular kettlebell swing we'll have our feet uh, slightly apart I like to have them a bit more apart than is uh, reg regular recommended but uh, well it feels the best way to me. You have the weight on your heels, your knees are slightly bent and they stay at the sa same angle all the time, you're not squatting up and down. All the action comes from a hip hinge, meaning that you are hinging around your hips like this. So it's a hamstring and the glutes that are doing the work. So the lower part is actually the same as in a double uh, arm dumbbell uh, kettlebell swing but the upper part is a bit different. First off, uh, just like when you do the, the regular kettlebell swing you need to keep your shoulders down. They should not ride up like this around your, your ears. Also you should always keep a slight bend in your elbow and that is especially important with this exercise because when you have two arms supporting each other, you can better steer the kettlebell. But when you are going fast and the kettlebell laid on may be heavy, you can suddenly overextend your elbow and hurt yourself and there's no reason for that. So keep a small bend and keep the shoulders down. If you have ever tried to do uh, front raises with dumbbells, you have probably been taught that you should in what rotate your arms like this in order to engage the middle part of the lateral head of the deltoids. But that is not a good idea when you do any kind of kettlebell swing because you need to protect your shoulders and this is not an isolation exercise for the shoulders. Such an inward rotation like this can actually hurt your shoulders when there's dynamic forces and you keep swinging the kettlebell. So if you just raise your arm like you naturally would, it comes up like this in a neutral grip with your thumbs up and your pinky down and that is the same way you should swing the kettlebell. So up here you have the highest point of the swing and your thumb is pointing directly up. If you move your arm down and keep it in that neutral position it will not feel new, uh, natural down here, actually it feels like you have to kind of flex or tense your triceps in order to, to push your arm back. If you, on the other hand, do the inward rotation down here, so your pinky is pointing forward and your thumb is pointing backwards, your shoulder will go like this and it feels much more natural and much more easy on your shoulder. So the correct movement is down here at the bottom of the swing, pinky facing forward, thumbs facing backwards, and when you come up you rotate until you have a neutral grip like this, thumbs up, pinky down. So that is the way to do it, otherwise keep tight, keep your back flat, keep your core tight, and uh, expect this to be harder than a normal regular kettlebell swing, so you'll have to uh, use at least half the weight when you try this out the first time. Uh, it goes without saying that one arm is not as strong as two arms, so, so uh, even though it's not the arms by themselves that are lifting this, it also places more stress on the rotational forces on your core and uh, especially the lower back. So take care with this exercise. When you grip the kettlebell arm a bit, you should grip it at the corner nearest to your thumb, not in the middle and not over here, but here, because that will ease the way you rotate your arm when it comes up and down. 
but no further talk, let's see it. Notice that my shoulders are down, they are not allowed to ride up. The other arm I can move with it if I want, I can just keep it still. Doesn't matter that much. So this is the way you do it and uh, it may sound a bit technical but uh, once you try it a couple of times it is fairly easy and it's a great exercise. And remember this is not an isolation, isolation exercise or an exercise where you should contract your muscles the way you do when you are doing any kind of bodybuilding exercise. This is much more an athletic exercise, a stamina exercise that can provide you with good core strength. So try it out. If you have any questions or comments just write me. I'll be back next week. See you there. Hi.